day from my students or my school. My name is Dr. Lloyd Martinez and I will be discussing the first chapter of our subject introduction to animal science. And this chapter would be uh, uh, the first uh, uh, start or uh, intro to our subject. So the objective of our uh, chapter one is that you, the students, will have completed the following. So you can now define, you can discuss animal science, you can discuss the relationship between human environment and the economy. So that's what we are hoping to achieve after discussing this chapter. Okay, so first we have to define what is animal science. Also, I think you already heard science, uh, you have already have the idea what is animal science. So we will expound a little, explain more about uh, what is animal science. Okay, so animal science is the best described as studying the biology of animals that is under human control. Uh, so it's what state Animal science is uh, studying the animals in which we, the humans, have control with. So, kung uh, uh, mag-istorya tag animal science, inhanlan dyo na na naad yung involvement na to sa mga tao. Kaya, uh, we are the ones uh, giving researches and studies in regards to the animals. Before, uh, animal science is called animal husbandry. Okay? So animal science is called before animal husbandry. And in which, uh, when I graduated uh, my college uh, years, my major is animal husbandry before. But now it is changed already to animal science. But animal husbandry and animal science is the same. So it is also described as the production and management of farm animals. So and animal science therefore is known also as the production and management of farm animals. So production means to reproduce something. Management means how you are going to handle the animals in your farm. You know? So that is animal science also. This is a study, animal science is a study mainly of the anatomy of the animals, management and care, and care production of the animals. So, ang animal science po di ay uh, mag-discuss sa anatomy. Anatomy is different ba parts, body parts of the animals. Kung niya, we are also discussing, we will be discussing or studying uh, management practices and how to care uh, the different animals, especially in the different animal productions that we are going to be involved. Next is, animal science is concerned with the science and business of producing domestic livestock species, including but not limited to beef cattle, dairy cattle, horses, poultry, sheep, and swine. So, we are, animal science also is not just concerned, it's not just about studying the biology of the animals, that of just about production and management and care of the animals. It is also, uh, uh, sci animal science is also concerned with the business of producing domestic uh, livestock animals. So, most about domestic and ikan ang ipang alimahan na sa mga tao. No? Not wild animals, domesticated animals. So, mo na siya uh, another definition of animal science. Animal science is also concerned with foods of animal origin, which is meat, dairy foods, and eggs. No? So, kung istorya po taga animal science, concerned po siya, no? may istorya po na to kabahin po sa uh, foods na gagigikan sa mga animals or products na gagigikan sa animals. This will apply different principles of the biological, physical, and social sciences to the problems associated with livestock production and management. Okay, 
So if you want to be an animal science major, like me, I'm an animal science major, you will be provided with an in-depth challenge, uh, in-depth knowledge of the following. So kung, uh, in the future, if the curriculum, the, your curriculum uh, will serve, that you will have a major in the higher years already, maybe in third year or fourth year, and you want to major on animal science, you will have more knowledge, uh, you will be given more knowledge on the following uh, uh, subjects or uh, topics. So, what are those topics? Animal health, so you will be discussing animal health, animal breeding, how to breed animals, animal care and management, livestock production, processing and marketing of animal products. So, uh, like me, as animal science major, I was, I, 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 encountered all these uh, topics uh, during my uh, college years uh, because I was an animal science major. So, muna, I'm a professor discussing uh, in-depth knowledge. Mga laong-laong pa nga mga mga kibalo in terms of the different, uh, these five uh, topics. No? So, in ana ka kung gusto ka mag animal science major. So, the next uh, topic we are going to discuss is the importance of animal science to the population, environment, and the economy. So, kung sa may importansya sa animal science sa population, sa mga tao, environment, sa tuong palibot, and also the economy. Economy means uh, uh, certain uh, the, the business side of the the what is the importance of animal science to the business side in terms of the Philippines economy okay so we have to remember that we are the caretakers and beneficiaries of animals and livestock production so as the human yung gulan siya kita mo ga ga umat no sa mga hayop unya kita po mo benefit kung unsa mo atong giumad sa ato ang mga ayop no ing ana ang ang ato ang uh, moral relationship sa animals so why is it that animal science is important to the population the population means sa mga tao animals has many contributions to the human population and these are sa mga kayo number one is food okay Muna yung usa ang contribute sa animals sa mga tao. Food. Next is clothing. Next is livelihood. Work and companionship. So, pinakauna dyan na gikontribute sa mga hayop sa tua sa mga tao is ang pagkaon. Mungo dyan na, di ba? We do uh, animal production for the main purpose that we can get uh, food out of those animals. Nya, next na lang, clothing. Okay, so may nga naman ang clothing. So, kanya mga ilaang mga feathers are used in clothing. Their skin are used in clothing. Okay, and the different other different parts of the animals are used in clothing. Livelihood. Livelihood means uh, the animals give us uh, something in return in terms of uh, money. Okay, so kung mabuhi tagayop, usually we, 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 we uh, take care of animals because uh, nate makaog ug na putay ma kwarta no parehanan kamo mga estudyante uh, if your parents have no uh, no money to give you allowance for the next week di ba mingon sila nga uh, ya i i beligya sa tong baktin kay wala tay pang hatag bayad sa imo ang uh, boarding house wa tay pamilitin nimo beligya sa tong bisayang manok ato sa likod kay para nate kapliti nimo rito di ba so that is livelihood. You are the animals are giving you money to uh, to uh, to a certain purpose. Nga imong gamiton work. Okay. What is why is it that um, the animals contribute work? Okay. Kaya kung wala mga animal production uh, within a certain community or within your uh, area sa mga na mga animal production, mga pigiri, poultry, mga dairy farms, cattle farms, so on so forth, no? Walay 
trabaho po nga uh, makuha ang mga tao. Di ba? Kita sa agriculture student, puhon mong gaduit ta. Uh, we are also looking into uh, animal production, animal industry. Kaya dito ta mga play o trabaho. No? Ito ta sa Tantiri sa Bohol, ito ta sa Altura, sa Marcella, mga play ta, gana sila yung mga nagpupigiri, nasa ito pong poultryhan, nasa fishery. Okay? So, animals contribute uh, work. Next, and the last one is companionship. Okay? Uh, most of you have animals at home, like dogs, the cats, the pigs. We just want to have those animals because we, we, we want to have someone uh, instead of humans to, to interact with, na natin interaction with, besides the human, na natin interaction with others. So, the animals is one of those uh, 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 others that we are going to interact, di ba? Mas pinangga, pagkaliusahin na to, itong mga hayop. Uh, no? Kung, uh, kaysa sa itong mga uyab. No? So, that that is one reason or contribution of animals to humans. Companionship. Yung maraming tao, uh, uh, sila pa, uh, we dwell on things sometimes and we just need some one, not just a human, to help us uh, understand the certain uh, uh, situations that we are having. So, usa sa mga mutabang na tuo pang hatag sa pangunaw na isang mga animals, no? For their companionship. So, humans and animals, humans and animals shall and will coexist. So, this means that Ang tao, ang hayop, uh, whether you like it or not, will coexist, will go together, will survive together. Kung wala ang hayop, ang, ang, ang human, uh, possibly, huwag po kayo tayo mga hayop. Kung wala ang mga hayop, uh, there's a possibility nga, huwag po tayo mga humans. No? Okay? So, food contribution of the animal alone can directly define the relationship between the human and the animal. So, sa, sa food, as a, a big contributor to the humans, really defines what the relationship between the humans and the animals. No? Kung na pagkaon. Okay? So, increase in human population means there is also an increase in animal contribution. So, both, magkadaghan ang tao ang, in a certain community na dyan ay magkadaghan po ng uh, animal contribution. Mga food ba na, mga clothing ba na, kung sabi na na, daghan man ang tao. So, there is uh, more need uh, sa mga tao na itong ikinahanlan sa mga ayo. 